cash budget is an estimated projection the closing balance of january will become the opening balance of february cash budget is a sure 15 marks question whatever the question it is you are supposed to see the additional information everybody a warm welcome to one and all i'm abhilash chandra from the department of commerce and management in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence welcome to all the students now here in this session i'm gonna teach you about a very good topic that is called cash budget now we have seen flexible budget and sales budget and I know that you people will get 15 on 15 if you get flexible budget or sales budget in any of the examination. Now let's go with this cash budget. What exactly a cash budget is all about and why is that we need to prepare cash budget? Two things in a manufacturing company we are supposed to know. The first one is how much we are supposed to produce. The second thing is how much we are supposed to sell. Now we are done with flexible budget and sales budget but we should also know one thing that is how much cash we have so that we can plan for future. Now why is that we need cash budget now you need to understand that how much we have if we know that it will be very helpful for us in the present and in the future. So that's the reason we are supposed to know that what we have and what we don't have. If we have what is that we should do with that money is what we are supposed to know. So that's the reason we actually go with this cash budget. Now cash budget I told you that it's all about the cash what we have. So what is that format we are supposed to go with? So let's understand this pro forma kind of a thing. Now we need to understand two things about cash budget. One is what is the inflow? What is the outflow? So what exactly it is that means payments, receipts, income, expenses, those things we are supposed to understand. So we need to classify. Say example, the amount is actually from the company it's going to somebody else it goes out that means what expenses and one more thing is somebody need to pay to the company that means what it is all receipts that means we are supposed to get it that is the inflow so if we know what is our inflow what is our outflow if we subtract that then we will get to know how much we have and how much we don't have so this is what cash budget is all about so the first one here is a cash budget is a budget or plan which is expected that is expected cash receipts and disbursement during the period so at that particular point of a time what is my receipts and what are my expenses that is what i should understand the second one is these cash inflow that is cash inflow and outflow includes revenue one is revenue is your inflow and expenses that is your outflow the last one here which you need to know about cash budget theoretically is in other words a cash budget is an estimated projection that is in future what gonna happen that is the reason we actually prepare cash budget of the company's cash position in the future now understand sometimes what happens is we have too much cash but if we know that the expected say example i'm um, working out with jan feb march april may june like that if i go with first quarter second quarter i get to know that my estimated cash in the third quarter will be say 5 lakh rupees now why should i keep 5 lakh rupees just like that i need to double it or i need to make more about it so that 5 lakh rupees i'll invest somewhere else so that is the reason we need to prepare cash budget to know that whether in future will i have more cash if i have cash what are the things i can do if i don't have cash what are the things i need to cut down so that this is the reason we are supposed to know cash budget let's go with the pro forma of cash budget now this is what the pro forma will look like you will be surprised sir why it's only particulars and everything is all empty cash budget is prepared on the basis of months so we have 12 months from jan to december whichever they tell to prepare we are supposed to go with that particular month usually what happens is they give you three months maximum they can give you four months right minimum is three months and the maximum is how many months four months even if they tell you to prepare for 12 months we can prepare because we know the format what exactly it is say example if i need to prepare for jan feb march what will i do is i'll write here january 
Now, please denote that in rupees. That is whatever you are writing is all in rupees. Then the second column would be what? After Jan, it is the subsequent February. Again, go with rupees. And the last one is March. Again, go with rupees. So this is the first thing which you are supposed to know. Now, students, I told you in our problematic subjects what is that we are supposed to do is don't just listen to the faculty you need to have your notebook your pen and the main thing for calculation you are supposed to have your calculator let's go with the first one here particulars we need to know what is the inflow what is the outflow if you know that it is all enough the first thing when we start is we always start from opening balance what is it opening balance now this opening balance will be given in the question paper itself. Say example, I need to prepare from Jan. That means on Jan, what will be the cash? It will be written in the question paper itself. You are supposed to just go, take that amount and put it here. So that is the first entry which you are supposed to do. Next understand, we need to add all the receipts. All the receipts, that is our inflow. What is that? That is our inflow. Now we'll add all the receipts. Now after adding all the receipts, whatever we get, we are supposed to add it with our opening balance. And what we get here, this we term that has total. And denote this as A. Total of A. So this is done. Okay, next what is that you are supposed to do is now you need to subtract all payments that is whatever goes from your from your account. So that is called payment. Say example payments are like uh, wages. I need to pay to my laborers that will come here. Expenses that goes from my pocket. So that will actually come here. So all those things purchases. Say example I have uh, purchased machineries. Now Machine will definitely come to my office, but I need to pay to that machine, isn't it? Even that is what expenses. All the expenses, I need to actually write it here. Say example, I'll uh, go with the uh, payments thing, purchases we have. So I'll write here. Then wages we have. Okay, done. So like that, I'll actually find out in the question paper that what all are my receipts, that is inflow, and what all are my payments, that is outflow later what is that i'll be doing is i'll calculate everything and again here the same thing the same format now i need to total it isn't it now when i total it what is that i'll do i'll write here total i'll denote that has b now this is what the total of the payments this is what the total of opening and the receipt now what is that i'll do is closing balance the last word is what closing balance now what is this closing balance a minus b what is a this is the a this is the b now if i subtract a with b now i'll get closing balance now understand the trick here students the closing balance of january will become the opening balance of february so this is the hint which i'll be giving you here so closing balance whatever is the closing balance of January will be the opening balance, the opening balance of February. This is what you are supposed to understand, right? Later again here, in the month of February, what all were the receipts? In the month of February, what all are the payments? Again, I'll do it. I'll write the closing balance here. Now, the closing balance of February will become the opening balance of March. And this will continue. This is the performer of cash budget. Hope you people are able to understand. Let's go with the problem. Let's go with the baby steps like one by one we'll go. We'll solve each and every problem. There will be four problems which I'll be solving for you. Now what is that you should do is you are preparing the notebook and I tell you here students every problem whatever I'll solve in this class and the next sessions here I'll be solving from the question paper. So what is that you should do is whenever I go with a question paper problem write the problem completely and then go with the answer. So this is what you are supposed to do or you can do something like this. You can just write the premier day as well as the problem number and then start solving in the 
answers directly right let's go with the first problem of cash budget the first problem try to understand this let's go a baby step is what i told you right so we'll understand the question what the question is then we will go with the performer will prepare the solutions then we'll go with additional information working note if wherever it is i'll just tell you where how the working note you are supposed to do because cash budget is a sure 15 marks question i'll tell you in budgetary control you have two 15 marks question and one 10 mark question that means you can get flexible budget or cash budget for 15 and 10 for sales budget definitely you will get two questions from budgetary control whether it was flexible sales or cash any two you will definitely get it let's go with the first one here prepare a cash budget for the month of may june and july may june and july 2016 on the basis of the following information so this is what the information is now i need to prepare for the month of may june july the minute i get this question what i do is i'll write this particulars may june july now i told you in the month of may here what is that we should write rupees here all the amount is all in rupees so the first thing i have done now what is that i should do is i need to check what are the things though they asked us from may june july i need to prepare but they have given me the entries of march april may june july august so you should not get confused we should only prepare for what may june july now i'll tell you here what is that whatever it is when we understand the question we need to understand the pattern also that is what is that they have asked and what is that they are asking us to do now here credit sale is there the first one is what credit sale that means sale has happened the sales has happened but on the basis of credit say example now in the month of march they have 60000 sales has done but when will they get it that is what the question is right in the month of march they have sold 60000 rupees product something they have sold so the customer will definitely pay to him now how much the customer should pay is 60000 but when he will pay that we are supposed to decide the next one here is credit purchase that means i have purchased from somebody now it is on credit basis that is i have paid but i'll not pay right now see the minute i take something and i pay him immediately it is not credit purchase it is purchase right but here what it is credit purchase in the month of march i have taken something which is value thirty six thousand, but on credit next thing is wages now my people have worked and i'm supposed to pay them wages now what is the thing i have done is nine thousand i have paid in the month of march april is 8 10 8 5 9 5 and 8 but i need to check the adjustment what was the day or what was the month when i have paid it so let's go with the working here when we go with particulars the first thing which i told you is what we need to check what is the opening balance what is the opening balance the first one is what opening balance so without any delay, you are supposed to find out the opening balance. So let's check the question here. Now the additional information, the first information is cash balance on 1st May. See, we are supposed to prepare from May, June, July. So the opening balance of May is what? 8,000 rupees. Which one? 8,000. So I'll write here 8,000 rupees. Easy. Now what is that? after opening balance i need to go with addition addition of what of all the receipts so i'll write here plus i'll write plus here that is receipts receipts now when we go with receipts here what are the receipts now we need to understand here the receipts now sales is what my inflow so i'll write here receipt Credit purchase means what? Outflow. It is called expenses. Wages is what? My expenses. That is, it goes from my pocket. Next. M-E-O-E-S-E. -E -E. Here I have given M-E means manufacturing expenses. Now, manufacturing expenses are also what? They have only said expenses. Other expenses. Selling expenses. So, all these three are what? Expenses. 
So what is that we have received? Only the credit sales. So we'll write here. That is in the receipts we have only one entry. That is what? Credit, credit sales. Credit sales. Now let's go with the thing. Here what exactly it is, we need to check the adjustments or the information what they have given on the basis of credit sales. Now, cash balance we are done, so we will not take this anymore. Next is plant costing rupees 60,000 is due for delivery in the month of July. So we have actually taken something, the plant is there, where I am supposed to pay how much? 16,000. Now it is due for delivery in the month of July. So July, I need to pay something. Payable, what is it? Payable, that means again expenses. 10% on delivery, 10% on delivery. And the balance after three months. After how many months? Three months, that means 16,000. See here, working note is there. The first working note, here, which you are supposed to understand here. Working note. Working note. They said that there is a plant, it is how much? 16,000 rupees, it is how much? 16,000 rupees. In the month of July, the delivery will happen and I'm supposed to pay 10% in the month of July. How much? 10%. So 10% of 16,000 is how much? 1,600 rupees. So in the month of July, the plant entry I need to actually put, but how much should I pay? Only 1,600. The remaining, it goes when, the remaining here, please understand, 10% on delivery and the balance after three months. See, after three months means after July. July, that means August, September, October. October, I'll actually uh, finish the total 16,000 thing. But should I take that? Definitely no. The reason is I'm supposed to prepare only from May, June, July. I'm not preparing the August, September, October thing. So in the month of July only, the entry will be how much? 1,600 rupees because that is the 10% of 16,000. So hope you got this. Next is advanced tax of rupees 8,000. Now tax I need to pay, isn't it? So is it an inflow or outflow? It's a outflow. So how much is the outflow? 8,000 each is payable in March and June. Now understand here, I'm preparing for the month of May, June, July. Will I take the entry to the March? No. Only in the month of June, I am supposed to pay how much? 8,000 rupees. So the entry will be for the advanced tax in the month of June. Now I'll not pay in the month of March. The reason here is I'm not preparing the March statement. It is only May, June and July. Next is Period of credit allowed. See here, now the entries, you are getting it, right? Now the credit, what exactly they have given? By suppliers, that means I've taken from somebody, right? That person is a supplier. He has given how many months? Two months. He has given two months. That means for purchases, for purchases, the lag in payment is how many months? Two months. What is this word lag in payment? Means delay in payment. So in the month of March, if I have uh, taken something from the supplier, which is the month I'm supposed to pay him after two subsequent months, right? Two months. So March thing, March thing, let's go with the working notes. Okay, then you will understand better students here. Let's go with this purchases. Now supplier is there. Now he has given how many months? Two months. Isn't it? So we have March, April, May, June, July, and then say August. Okay. Now, say in the month of March, I'm just giving an example for you. Say 1 lakh rupees. Say 1 lakh 20. Rupees. Then we have here 60,000. Yes. Now understand, may I have actually purchased 1 lakh rupees product. So purchases I have done. But they say supplier is giving me 2 months. So the, what will I do is immediately I will not give the money. So this 1 lakh rupees when will I give? That is a question. 
So after two months means April, May. That means here. So this May entry will be what? 1 lakh rupees. The minute I get 1 lakh rupees here, what will be the subsequent year? June entry will be what? 1 lakh 20 thousand. And July entry will be what? 60 thousand. So this is what the supplier is asking us. They have given two months means this is what it is. So in the month of March, I'm not paying 1 lakh rupees. When am I paying? I'm paying 1 lakh rupees in the month of May because two months he has given me the period. So this is what the thing is. So let's erase this. Now understand, let's go back to our question. Now by supplier is how much? Two months. Now the next one is to customer, to customer which I am giving, right? Now I have done the sales. Now the customer is supposed to pay the amount to me, but I am giving how many months to the uh, customers? That is one month. So let's go with the same kind of a thing here also, right? Now here it is customer. And it is how many months? One month. Say example, let's go with the same thing right now. Now in the month of March, April, May, June, July. Okay. In the month of March, it is say 60,000. I'm just giving random example here. Okay. April, it is 50,000. May, it is say 40,000. Okay. Now, try to understand. In the month of March, they were supposed to pay me 60,000, but I have only given them what? One month period. One month period. That means what happens is the 60,000 what they are supposed to pay. When will they pay me? They will pay me in the month of April. Now, the minute I get the first entry, the second entry is what? For the month of May. The third entry is what? For the month of June. So hope you got this. This is what is called the lag in payment. That is there is a delay. That is we have given them the credit facility for how many months? One month. For the supplier, how much we have actually taken? That is two months. Let's go with the problem. Next, lag in payment. Now lag in payment means delay in payment. Lag in payment of manufacturing is one month. Again, the same way. Lag in payment of office and selling office and selling expenses one month. Again, the same. That is March amount I'll pay in the month of April. April amount I'll pay in the month of June. So let's start with the problem. Now, when we go with the problem, understand here, we have supplier, we have customer. Now understand, credit sales. Now, how much is the credit sale? Credit sale is here. Now credit sale, 60,000. When will I pay the 60,000? In the month of April. When will I pay? 62,000 in the month of May. Am I preparing for April? No, I'm preparing from May. The minute I get this May, when am I paying? 62,000. What is that? The subsequent is 64 and the subsequent is 58. So we are supposed to take how much here? 62,000. Here 64,000. And here 58,000. Let's check. Whatever we have taken is right or wrong. Let's go with it. 62, 64, 58. Now you got this. Why is that we have done? There is a lag in payment of how many months? One month. So this is what the thing is. Let's go with the next one here. Credit purchases, expenses, wages is expenses, ME expenses, expenses, expenses. That means in this problem, we have only one inflow and all are the expenses. So we need to calculate here. Let's calculate. Now, 8,000 plus 62 is how much? 70,000. So, we got 70,000. Now, you need to actually calculate this and we should put something. What is that? That is total. Total of 8. You know, that has 8. 70,000, we got it. Now, we are not supposed to write anything here, June and July, because we don't know what is the opening balance of June. So, what is the what will be the opening balance of June? The closing balance of May will be the opening balance of June. The next one is now we need to subtract all the payments which goes from us. So what is the payment here? Now all the expenses that are the payments. Now credit purchase. Let's write everything here. Now credit purchase. Credit purchase and the next one here is credit purchase. We have wages, right? So we'll write here wages. 
after wages what is that we have me that is manufacturing manufacturing expenses after that other expenses after that we have selling selling expenses so we have written wages me oe and selling expenses from here it is all done we have taken everything next here after credit wage manufacturing other expenses in the additional information we have what is that now cash we have taken now plan plant costing so we'll write here plant then later we have advanced tax now advanced tax i'll write here advanced tax right after that do we have anything this one we have taken this we have written this here if we go we have advanced tax is also done period of credit allowed is also done lag in payment manufacturing lag in payment office done so all the entries we have actually written so what will be here what is this entry called as this is called as total total of b this is what total of b now closing balance closing balance now what is this closing balance a minus b what is the closing balance closing balance is a minus b that is what we are supposed to do now let's go with our entries the minute we get to know all these things now what is that we should do is we need to go back to our question let's go with the question now what will i do is i'll erase everything for you so that it will be very useful very easy for you to actually uh, get the answers now credit purchase now purchase is how much the supplier is giving me how many months two months the supplier is giving me how many months two months i'm preparing for which month i'm preparing from may june and july now this is the purchase column now understand march it is 36000 how much 36 when am i paying the amount after two months after two months means what may that means here 36000 will go here the minute i get this entry 36 the june entry is what 38 july entry is how much 33 so that is what we are supposed to write it so it is 36000 here i'll write 36,000. Next is what? 38. And the next one is 33,000. I'm done with credit purchase. Now, next one here is, see anywhere have you seen anything about the information with regard to wages? No, you don't have any information with regard to wages. Now, what I'll do is I'll again erase this also so that you'll feel easy here. Now, wages also, they have not asked anything. That means whatever the wage is for that particular month, you are supposed to take that particular month itself. Only if there is anything about wages, then we are supposed to go. Now, wages in the month of May, how much is it? In the month of May, wages is 10. The minute I got the first one here, June, July, 10, 8, 5, 9, 5. So, I'll write here how much? 10,000, then 8, 5. And then here 9, 5. So let's check 10, 8, 5, 9, 5. I have written 10, 8, 5, 9, 5. Done. Next, manufacturing expenses. Manufacturing expenses. Now, they have only said lag in payment of manufacturing. For how many months? One month. For how many months? One month. That means what? Again, I'll go with this. Right? Now understand. Let's erase this for you. Done. Now we are in the manufacturing expenses. Now, 4,000 what I got in the month of March. Will I pay in the month of March? No. When will I pay? In the month of April. I'm preparing for May. So, here. May is here. Now, the May amount will be what? That means April amount. That will be the May amount. That is what it is. See, April it is how much? The manufacturing is 3,000 rupees. When am I paying the manufacturing? There is a lag in payment of one month. So, this 3,000 I'll actually pay in the month of May. The minute I got the first entry, the second entry is what? For the month of June. And the third entry is for the month of July. So, we have what? 3,000, 4,500 and 3,500 respectively. So, here 3,000. Next, I have 3,000. The minute I get the first entry, what is that you should do is? The next two is what? Copy paste. That is what you are supposed to do. 
4,500, isn't it? Now 4,500 and the next one is 3,500, 3,500, done. Next is other expenses. What is it? Other expenses. Now see the thing, lag in payment, office, that is the other selling expenses. What is it? One month. How many months? One month there is a delay. So again the same way your students, the office expenses or the other expenses which you are supposed to write is what? Other expenses, office expenses, let's go with this. So we have what? 1500, 2500, 2000. So this 1500, I'll get it in the month of May, 2500 in June and this 2000 in July. So here I'll write here, uh, 1500, 1500, then I have a 2500 and then the last one is 2000, done. Now selling expenses, what is that they have asked? Again here lag in payment, selling expenses, how many months? One month, same way, same way it is, say all the three, it is all the same way, there is a lag in payment of one month, that means March I'll get in the month of April, April I'll get in the month of May, May I'll get it in the month of June, June I'll get it in the month of July. That is what it is, right? It is not what is there in the question. It is how much you get on that particular month. Try to understand this, right? It's not about in the question only they have given April this much, May this much, June this much. No, we need to understand the additional information where they have given the criteria, what time I will receive. And this cash budget is all about what, what time I got and what time I will get. That is what you are supposed to write, actual and estimated. Let's go with the selling expenses now. Now selling expenses, one month is a lagging period. How many months? One month is a lagging period. So here what happens is, when we go with selling expenses, understand, one month lag means what? The May, when will I actually get that is here april's i'll get it in the month of may and uh, this one this one so right 5000 4500 and 3500 i'll write so it is 5000 4500 and then 3500 done next is plant now for plant i have done a working note if you remember right now we'll go with the same thing here also now they said there is something called plant here. And I told you about working note. Now we have 16,000. But in the month of July, in the month of July, they are supposed to pay how much? 10% of it. Now 10% of it is how much? 1,600. So this entry I'll put it in the month of July. Now why am I not putting the remaining 90%? Because that remaining 90% you will get or you are supposed to give in the next three month but we are not preparing for next three month so we will not go with that hope you got this here so it is only 1600 which you are supposed to put under plan now here we have plan so plan we will not put anything here nor here it is 1600 now we have something called advanced tax here how much advanced tax i am supposed to go with advanced tax now here when we go with this advanced tax understand advanced tax is rupees 8000 each it is not half it is what each 8000 i am supposed to pay in the month of march am i preparing for the month of march no i'm not preparing i'm preparing for the month of may june july so the entry will be only for june here that is 8000 rupees so advanced tax is how much here here also it is dash june i'll pay how much 8000 and July it is nil. So this is what my entry would be. Now what is that we should do is we need to calculate. Let's go with the calculation. Take a calculator here students. Let's go with the calculation. But meanwhile please don't calculate the June, July. We need to write the opening balance of June and opening balance of July. Till here you can calculate. Only till here. Let's go with the first one here. 36,000 plus 10,000 plus 3 we have 3000 and then 1500 and 5000 so we have 55500 55500 now what is that we should do is 
total of A minus total of B is what we are supposed to deduct. That is here 70,000 we are supposed to take. So we got here 14,500. Now 14,500 is the closing balance of May. So the same amount will actually go to the opening balance of June 14,500. Now both you need to add. Let's go with this. So 14,500 plus 64,000. Okay. How much? 64,000 plus 14,500. 78,500. 78,000. 500. Now, what is that you should do? Calculate all these things, write it here. Let's go with the calculation. 38,000 plus 85,000. Not 85,000, it is 8,500 plus 4,500 plus 2,500 plus 4,500 plus 8,000. We have 66,000 here. 66,000 that we need to go with 78,500 minus 66,000. So we got here 12,500. This 12,500 is a closing balance of June. So that will become what? The opening balance of July. So 12,500 here I have 12,500. Now this 12,500 again I need to add 12,500 plus 58,000 that is 70500, 70500. Now again, I, the same way here also we need to do this. 33,000 plus 9,500 plus 3,500 plus 2,000. See, you are very fast than me. I know that. You are actually faster. So we got 53, 5300. That I need to actually now 7500 minus 5300. That is what I should actually go with 7500. So it is we got 17,400. So this is what the entire cash budget of May, June, July is. Now I got to know that I'll have a cash of 14,500. In the month of May, I'll have 12,500 in the month of June and I will have 17,400 in the month of July. So I got to know how much I'll have in my hand. So this is what the cash budget is for you. Now, here the working note also when I showed you, when I gave you the problems also students, though we are not supposed to go for any tick mark in the question paper, it's considered as a malpractice. What is that you should do is, in your answer booklet itself, you should write all the entries so that you have not missed any of the entries, any of the entries and working note you are supposed to show. See, this is the working note which I gave you is an example. It's an example here. So when whenever I uh, tell you anything here, students, let's go with the uh, examples here. You have, see, the answer is all done, finalized, we have done it. Now, whenever they say, Assume this, right? We have Jan, Feb, and March. Supposing the wages, 5,000 rupees. In the problem, they say that. In the problem, they have said that. The wages you will actually give after a month. So this 5,000 entry, though it is in the month of January, but when will you actually give? You will be giving them in the month of what? February. That is what the entry you are supposed to put. Whatever the question it is, you are supposed to see the additional information. Supposingly, in the question they said, wages, right? There is two months delay. How many months? Two months delay. So this 5,000, when will you actually give them? You will not give them in the month of Feb. You will give them in the month of what? March. So that 5,000 you will write here. 
So this is what the lag in payment is all about. In the next session, I'm going to teach you about 50% uh, in this month, 50% in the next month, 50% in the next month, and the remaining 50% in the next consecutive month. All these adjustments, I'll show it to you. So thank you so much. If you have any doubt regarding this, let me know. Till then, thank you so much.